I was sitting here and I reflected that earlier that uh, people play different games of pool and and one guy's good one game, one guy's good the other. And I'm gonna prove it by this story right here. It's a true story. Um, this has happened in, mm, I'd say, it's hard for me to remember all the dates. I think this is about 1979. Buddy Hall was living in Shreveport, Louisiana, and there was a bookmaker on the pool room called Red Box. And I was on the river with my old friend Lambert. The only time we ever had a fallout, out, and I got broke in, in New Orleans. He had been flying around his airplane. We had another guy with us. Another guy accused me of losing on purpose, which I would never do to Lambert in 100 years. So we got a big fallout. We're flying back, and I said, drop me off in San Antonio, Texas. So I went there, and there was a old book, another bookmaker there called Tony Salinas, world-famous better he lives in Vegas now and he owned a pool in there called Doyle's cocktails and everything Jimmy Reed was running there playing and I walked in there introduced myself to him told him I'm dead broke and I'm a real good hustler and a good player and, and I can't go on broke and um, would he help me out he not only helped me out he gave me a job collecting money for him or stake me and I was running two or three months and I was making all kind of money and I tell him I said this is a, is a bookmaker called Red Box Freeport he'll stake that buddy hall now at that time, Buddy Hall gave anybody in the world eight and probably beat them playing nine ball. And Louis Roberts was his protege, they played in that pool in there. They had a sign up over there on the doors you walk in. Through these portals walked the greatest pool hustle in the world, and then I was left with a quarter. So I, I told Tony, I said, let's go there. I'll make a game on the phone. He said, okay, we'll make it. We'll charter a plane and go there. I said, I ain't driving. So I got Buddy Hall on the phone. He wanted to give me a seven play and nine ball. Now, I'm going to show you the difference between one guy playing one game good and another guy playing another game good. So I, at that time, I, it wasn't a doubt. I was the best one pocket player in the world. And so he said, well, I'll give you a seven play and nine ball or you can give me nine to seven play and one pocket. I said, I can't give you nine to seven play and one pocket. I said, I'll play short stuff. Said, You're a world champion. He said, well, that's all I'll take. He said, I'll play 11 out 21 for 10 pounds. And either, either one of them or both of them. So, I talked to Salinas, he said, well, which game you like? I said, I like the one pocket. I said, he don't play very good one pocket, and I might beat him at that. I, I'm gambling, but I know I can't win with a seven. That guy don't never miss a ball on that table there. So I chartered a twin engine plane, me, him, and a, and a, a guy they just put in the, the World Poker Hall of Fame, Crandall Addington. He went down there with us case we had a card game or something and Tony Salinas world famous bookmaker and me we chartered a plane we told the pilot he had to stay over at twin engine I don't know what it cost seven eight hundred dollars we went over there and we made the game on the phone left my 21 for ten thousand I went over there and we walked in and they showed us the sign all that shit me and him started playing and I didn't hesitate and uh, I took my normal decks of bill had me a couple of drinks and this guy played the best, I mean, he, from the time I seen before, he probably proved 100% of the one pocket. So, <laughs> hey, I'm playing real good. He had me in trouble. I mean, now he's got me, this is a true story, he had me 9-2, to two, races to 11, and all the balls down the table, he had one, I need seven. And Craig lights him in there, didn't know much about pool. He looked at it, I told him to score it. He just looked at me like, what are we doing over here? Anyway, he went back in the office, none of them even come in there, and pretty soon Louis Rollins went there and told him to score, the score was 9-9. I won that game, I, I, now I scored 9-9, no worry about sports, man. The final score was Ronnie out 11-9. He had me 9-2, to two, and he had one ball, and I need seven, they were all the ball down the table, and he won another game. I went to 10,000, and uh, I mean, everybody was with me, was jubilant, and uh, Red Box said, Jesus, I'd give anything to watch that match. I didn't even watch it. I thought you didn't have a chance. And Buddy Hall got mad and embarrassed. And I got a, a footstool and got up and tore that sign down. <laughs> Here, that sign's coming down, pal. You know, that, was, <laughs> that was my little news with Buddy Hall. I don't think we ever gambled after that. And uh, uh, to me, he's probably the finest nine ball player to ever lived. I know I was the finest one pocket player ever lived right that time. 
And uh, anyway, just go to show you. If we played nine ball, I couldn't have won. He played one ball, and I, I had spot him 25% of the game one. So that's my little nine ball, one ball story. Hope you